Wednesday morning. It's about eight o'clock. And um, it's a lovely blue sky again. There are some clouds today, but it's looking nice. Um, I've been awake forever. Um, do you ever get it when you wake up in the morning and you just feel rage? Just feel like you hate people. Not one person in particular, although the cyclists at five o'clock in the morning are getting a lot of my rage at the moment. I've got my window open, you can probably hear it's like constant traffic where I live. This traffic you get used to when you live here, just you know, constant, and then you get the idiots, the motorbikes and the cars that feel like they need that extra loudness. They're annoying, but the only time it's quiet is between about two in the morning and six in the morning. So when you get cyclists going past your house at five in the morning, having a nice old chat, waking you up, fills you with rage. It's about half past nine. Um, I just not in the mood for people today. I'd quite happily go upstairs, lock all the doors and not speak to anybody. That's the sort of mood I'm in. But I will put on a brave face and be happy and cheery for the sake of customers. That's me. Um, what was I going to say? So today I've got that delivery to show you. Yes, I mean, not all of you will find it exciting, but I do. Um, what else? I've got the signs to finish off doing. I've got the little ones to put out and um, still got paperwork to do, Ugh. which I've been putting off. Do you like my jingly jangly earrings? Um, and... see that empty void did you feel it that's my brain completely switching off nothing to say nothing to impart in my day my brain has switched off completely Winterfest over let's just park that miserableness and bring on the cheerfulness okay uh, the delivery that I was gonna show you yesterday, but it was really, it was half past four and I still needed to edit the blog and I still needed to upload and all that. So I didn't, but what's in the box? I know you're dying to know. Well, you know, I have my scented candles, my vegan scented candles. Uh, they sell really well, they're very popular. A lot of you have bought them and enjoyed them. Um, I thought along those lines, I would get in wax melts. And I contacted the local lady, she lives in the next little village that makes them the ones that I use because I thought often I've got them in the shop burning and people come in and they go, oh, that smells lovely, what's that? So it only made sense for me to try and sell them. So I contacted her, see if she would supply wholesale and she has. So I have three boxes of wax melts. Most of them are these little packs of three. Um, different flavours. Yes, I know they're not flavours before anybody wants to correct me. Um, and different colours. There were so many to choose from that um, it was a difficult job. But I've got five of each so I can see which ones sell best and reorder. I will show you all the flavours when I get them out of the box. Scents, I know, they're not flavours. For instance, this one is Earl Grey and Cucumber. I've used this one, it's very nice. Um, this one is Rose Petal Jam. Very nice. Fresh Laundry, if you like that sort of smell. The Rose Petal Jam and the Fresh Laundry were ones that she recommended. She said they were her, some of her best sellers. Um, and then I had some little, uh, like little scent pots to choose from, and I chose a load of 
smells that I liked. This one's Tiger Lily Rain. So I've got those in most of the sizes, most of the scents. And then I've just got two um I keep wanting to say flavours, I apologise. In these metal tins i thought they'd make nice little gifts but i didn't want to get too many different scents because uh, i wanted to see which ones sell best so my idea was that i'd get lots of the little ones see which ones are the most popular and then before christmas i'll get more of the tins in because they make a nicer gift so i've got two scents seychelles which is lovely and rhubarb and rose because you can't go wrong with rhubarb can you so I need to work out price and work out how I'm going to display them and then I need to do some Facebook posts do you think I should put these on my website hmm let me think about that I'll have to see um I probably will <laughs> some stock off a customer so I thought I would show you what's come in so there's a brass kettle a stein this rather magnificent figurine thing that is made to look like bronze but it's not heavy enough to be bronze a clock a sort of vasey type thing an iron a spitfire with a little bit of a damaged thing this is cute, a little brass donkey with the baskets on top, a little elephant and some um, horse brasses, this door knocker, a few thimbles, bag, this pretty dirty looking but uh, pretty dressing table brush, a ronson lighter, paper mache box, bars, glass bottle and this rather interesting thing I assume is an ashtray sorry dropping things on the floor as I go around um it's a ghost town it's not even cars driving past do I complain to the council still I see I'm moaning again stop it's not raining, it's a beautiful dry day. I've just watched Edward um, Antiques Arena. Did a bit of a live stream, I didn't catch it all, but I saw some of it, it was very interesting. He's such a knowledgeable chap, isn't he? Um, and I'm pricing up a few bits and bobs. I don't know what this thing is, I did show you that. Do you think it's an ashtray? Any ideas? Answers on a postcard. So it looks sincere. Okay, I'm gonna round up the vlog just because I don't have much positive to say about today. Do you like that little song song? Sing, sing song. Right, I'm gonna get off. I think I'm gonna lock up. I might even have the day off tomorrow. That's how I feel. Um. Let me know if you saw anything of interest. Um, I'm going to get those. I've got the wax melts on the website if anybody's interested. Uh, I thought it'd be quite a good thing to add to an order. If you're ordering something else, you can add the packet of wax melts on as an extra. <laughs> More it's for locals, I was thinking. I'm babbling now. I'll stop babbling and I will go. 
have a lovely evening hope you still got sunshine it's still sunny here um i will uh, catch up with you at some point take care stay safe Thank you.